Ladies and gents, this is the moment you've waited for. Oh, I thought you were gonna- <laughs> Better late than never. <laughs> Two reactions to YouTube's Portman. I'm Red. And he calls it Instagram and Twitter for juicy content. Thanks for some patrons. So juicy. I'm continuing? Yeah, yeah. I'll do it the way he does it. Tell YouTube channels in the bell for the You like that, Dad? Follow us on our personal YouTube channels. You little, you little horny little bastards. Wow. <laughs> hey, look at us. We're we're fall already. Oh, yeah, look at we us are fall. Our, look at our colors. Well, obviously, my house is already done in fall. If you see Yeah. It. There's a jack-o'-lantern here in September. Mm-hmm. Uh, my entire house is all done up because my wife loves Halloween. Um, but today, what are we doing, right? Uh, we're looking out at really weird-looking skies. Yeah, yeah. Smoke. Coming. And we're all, we're fine, by the way. I got messages from Stupid oh, yeah. Babies. The fire. Would, about the fires. The fires would never reach us. There, we're, even if the mountains were burning all around, because there are mountains that surround us. There's the south of Entero Boulevard and north of the 118. Those could be fully engulfed. It's, it's not going to get to the homes in the middle of the San Fernando Valley. It's and just, it's, it's miles, of, burn. miles of concrete. <laughs> miles of concrete. There's <laughs> nothing to burn. So, what, to we get, what we get is awful air with yeah. the fires like this. So, anyway, we're, we're fine. Today we are uh, reacting to a video. It's called Indian Drums versus African Drums. Ooh! Uh, best, uh, say this for me. Uh, Jugal Bandi ever, Guru Karikodi Mani, and Papi Summary. So this so is an Indian drum and African drum contest, like competing drums with each or, other? Or like or a, performing a, together? Or? The dueling thing we see with. Cool. Um, so, sounds awesome. Uh, looking forward to that. I'm sure we'll see some tabla playing. Yeah. Um, so, all right, here we go. Bring it. Oh, we're already off. We're getting it. Oh. Impressive. 
all those people. rate on this on the video is can't keep up with their fingers. Yeah. Sounds like it hurts. Yeah, that looks like it would hurt. You just smack in a pot. And Yes. Yes. 
fitting that a recommendation that just came up with Zakir Hussein. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> because that's that's what it reminded me of. Uh, but it was beautiful. Uh, I love that, like seeing two very, very, very different cultures uh, come together and make beautiful, beautiful music mm -hmm. in their own way. Mm -hmm. um, and it, it never struck me, but is does, was it the West that incorporated sticks with playing drums? Obviously, no. I know I know that the West did not invent drums. That's been around since like the beginning of time, yeah, almost. Um, but who? No, like the definitive kit that we're familiar with, with the snare and the floor and the toms. That, that's that's a Western invention. Mm. Uh, but using sticks, no, I guess, were a long they, way back. Yeah, I guess long in hell or they even whatever, yeah. whichever one he was playing. Long way back. Obviously, he played with sticks as well. That was gorgeous. <sighs> it re it reminded me at first watching the the gentleman from Africa. There's a restaurant in, in Cape Town called Gold Restaurant. Mm. And when you go there, it is the most wonderful cultural experience because you get fully immersed in, you get actual little drums to hit with the instrumentalists doing their stuff. Mm. And they come and the people will put will like tribal war paint on your face that's particular for their tribe. It's mm. a really beautiful cult. This reminded me of that with everybody sitting together, mm -hmm. and I got I got emotional at one point watching them spar with each other and seeing Africa and India is just celebrating each other. It, was mm -hmm. it also incredible. reminded me of when we got when we had the pleasure after we got to interview uh, Ustad Ustad Jizakir Hussein, we got to see him play yeah. with um, uh, a famous cellist and a famous guitarist, and they did that same kind of thing, yeah. um, sparring off and with, from different places with each other yeah. and uh, a banjo player. Oh yeah, the banjo player yeah. came out as well, and so it's it's one of, it's some one of the, obviously it's Indian music in itself is obviously just beautiful, right? But it's obviously I think really beautiful when different cultures come together, but you can still make music is a universal language. I think it's like one yeah. of the only universal languages yeah. out there. It is. It's because it's quite amazing how you can just when even with no vocals, mm -hmm. you can tell the emotion of a song. Mm -hmm. You can tell what a song is saying yeah. just by having it, and just by them playing. Yeah. And it's a beautiful thing how every culture has, well, maybe not every culture, I guess, but I would, I think every culture has some type of music. I think you would be hard pressed to, uh, I, I think it's a safe statement to say that every culture in human history has music in some way, shape or form. Yeah. Whether it's just singing and hitting things, we're just, we're musical beings. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And so to share that common language together is beautiful. I want to see more stuff like that. Yeah. I, just every culture represented in playing and enjoying and celebrating each other, combining, but remaining individual. It's gorgeous. That was awesome. That was great. Let us know more uh, videos like this or different kind of stuff like this down below. Da din din 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 da din din